。Hello again on YouTube. Let's continue. Previously on Mav College, we talked about nine basic habits that I just recommended you to do right away. You guys don't have to follow all of the tips that I told you, but just one out of nine tips、uh, is enough for you. You get excited to make a small achievement on a daily basis as you continue to do. And once you get used to it, in the long run, you're gonna be able to have a more productive day. That's basically what I told you in the first half of my video. In the second half, we go jump into our oral habit. Something you say a lot in the daily of your life. Some positive words、uh, you should speak out, other taboos we should avoid. The proper language behavior is the one. And another one is time management. Efficient time management. What is this supposed to mean? By the way, are you guys、uh, doing, the, doing the right things with time management? In a combination、uh, with、uh, nine techniques of, techniques of uh, small habits uh, that I told you in the first half,、uh, we're gonna make the best of business approach and put that、uh, into practice. But before then, time management is always a master technique to run the business so fast, right? If your time management sucks,、uh, no one wants to have a deal with you, of course. Time is、uh, one of the most valuable resources to humans in equal. It's limited. No one is allowed to、uh, have more than 24 hours a day, of course.、Uh, you can patch up a、uh, broken、uh, relationship and recover the last,、uh, last money or、uh, get back to your normal health. But time, once lost, it is lost forever. No amount of money can help you、uh, to buy time and、uh, go into the past to use it again. So, if you make the time management variable, your specific activity has to be worked smarter than harder. Failing to、uh, manage、uh, your time or a poor time management result in、uh, missed deadline, poor work quality, unwanted stress, poor professional reputation, unbalanced work and life. If you agree with my idea, please give it a like or、I'll、take a note on a piece of scratch paper so that at least you won't forget it. Sounds cool? Alright. Now, we are going to、uh, talk about that later. And、uh, now, we look for our favorite word. What is, what is your favorite word? How often do you say it in a day? If you say, <laughs> mother, <laughs> if you say that quite a lot in a day of your life, You should pick up the phone and dial 911. Or you should go to hell. <laughs> you are sick. Well, let me ask you qu another question then.、Uh, what is your magical word that you always、uh, keep in mind? You can pick up whatever you want from your preference and liking, except the taboos I just spoke out effort, freedom, peace, love, trust, thanks. Hope, family, and dreams. Those words definitely reflect your future goal. By the way, my favorite word is freedom because I want to do my favorite stuff like making YouTube videos every day. I don't have my kids to grow up or feed. All the money I make is all for myself, right? So,、uh, there's no legal family responsibility、uh, or rule、uh, that saves me a whole a lot of money and time. I see a stupid J business associate struggling for divorce with his ex wife.、Uh, he was claimed for the collection of the child support for 20 years. That's a damn a lot of money. <laughs> There's a lot of people、uh, more than he was. The family responsibility office needs to collect the child support uh, uh, whenever the court order is made for the, for the payment of the child support. And then they have to take、uh, whatever steps are necessary to collect,、uh, including the、uh, garnishing of income from the source. So I just、uh, bought a Vast land、uh, right next to my house at 710 square meters for 5 million Japanese yen.、Uh, if I have the same trouble with him,、uh, I may need to lose my whole property because of my stupidity. I just don't want to get out of the obligations because I'm going to have to、uh, go to the court, amend, and change the court order that created the obligation. That sounds so much time and money consuming. So, rather than that, I would probably seek for my personal goal.、Uh, with, well, it doesn't mean I hate female. I love them.、Uh, that's also my favorite word, by the way. <laughs> female, I mean the horny young female.、Uh, I'm a very straight guy, but when it comes to、uh, freedom, there's nothing more than I couldn't be happier. Freedom is、uh, in the core value of my mind. So, based on the example of my belief and life satisfaction, I want to suggest you four. Element of good beliefs. 
If you can make a small habits based on these four elements, I think uh, your life will be so fantastic. Fun, happiness, fascination, and luck. Are you having a wonderful time with these four, uh, four words? You say, no? Okay, then you, you, you gotta stay with me and for another minute, okay? Let's jump ahead to this section. When someone you really care about is having a bad day, uh, it can be so challenging to, to find a word to say. Uh, we often the instinct to offer some advice or uh, try to fix things for the person, but in fact, uh, it can make someone feel even worse. That might be considered as a no no real business, right? So uh, if you have no idea what to say, you might as well leave the person alone for for some times. I think that's a uh, answer at your best effort. I mean, when you are struggle, struggling uh, with something, a uh, kind word or gesture from someone else uh, can ha can help a lot, but most likely uh, your best cheerleader is none other than yourself, especially in business world. Some uh, considerate words from the third party, uh, third persons are so amazing, powerful, and inspiring, as well as the things you say to yourself can uh, affect your uh, life in a way you can't imagine. If you, uh, if you conti continuously uh, tell yourself the uh, mean things like, holy crap, my life is so devastated, it will eventually destroy you. When I'm not uh, just having a great day, uh, I, make, I make a habit to post some great pictures on Instagram with a smile, uh, positive words in the description description below the picture because it brings me back my uh, good, good memory it just uh, makes my outlook in life so much better i often see uh, stupid people uh, getting me mad and i find it very comfortable uncomfortable uh, when i when i hear when i heard someone trying to make fun of me mock me or tease me i punched them and started fighting uh, when i was young but i stopped it as i got older that's not a good solution right yeah that, that may be a one of the uncool uh, solutions that are not that not that are not uh, encouraged of course but uh, it's our instinct to protect our survival to uh, this sort of social attack getting angry or frustrated for or uh, losing your control over it is never an never the ultimate solutions in business so what i suggest to you is like ignoring them smiling back at them and firmly telling them to stop it these three attitudes uh, will be of help for you to release your stress first ignoring them uh, shows your maturity and inner strength you believe in yourself that, that uh, you are strong enough to walk away from toxic people the more you react to the situation with harsh emotion the more you get trapped by those bad people sometimes uh, people make you feel so bad you just you just don't know how to react to it then just ignore them when someone try to make fun of you and the person expect you to get angry and uh, someone else can laugh at those harsh jokes uh, you might as well just smile back instead of getting angry someone might be uh, confused or doesn't know what to what to say or do the next things to you so it's all matters of a strong mentality in case it is not fun uh, someone uh, makes a silly joke without thinking it's gonna harm you then firmly warn the person not to say anything inappropriate or harmful. One day, uh, I would have made one of my business associates uh, feel embarrassed of my uh, bad sense of humor and I had to correct the situation. So I know how uh, painful it is at some point. Of course, uh, you don't want to ridicule anyone like me, but uh, you know, small jokes can be triggered as a bad sign if someone hear you in a bad way. Uh, instead, if someone gives you a bad joke, you can just turn negative thought into positive actions. That stuff like that uh, can apply to any kind of situation, especially in business. When your uh, co-workers tell you uh, something uncomfortable, you can always put, it in, put, put that into practice. Uh, for example, the easiest way uh, I advise you to, uh, to do is uh, to bring you back uh, your good memory, like, like I said uh, before before right before you go to bed it sounds like what what are you talking about but honestly it helps me a lot i mean whatever you do thinking positive before you go to bed is always a good habit to sleep well and the next day in the morning you forget everything bad just tell yourself 
Oh, thank God. You are being so healthy today. You had plenty of things to do today. Uh, worked so hard, you did your best effort and yourself、uh, for yourself and others. All things considered, good or bad, praise your best work and go to bed. When you make this a、uh, uh, small habit, you can sleep well. You have another tomorrow.、Uh, in case、uh, you are in trouble with something at work, have a little argument with、uh, your company, 90% of the matter are not a big deal. I mean, a not serious problem for you. Most of the times you can resolve it. I had a best friend of mine、uh, from Italy.、Uh, he was a very、uh, hilarious, easygoing person who seems not、uh, care about anything negative. I was actually surprised. And、uh, at the same time,、uh, it was so shocking for me because he was beyond my understandings. His oral habit was no problems. Speak it out. <laughs> Please speak it out. No problems. That's not a big issue. Yeah, when you feel frustrated, stressed out, and anxious about something, tell yourself it is not an issue. When something happens to you and it panics you、uh, under any、uh, intense work environment, most of the time you can manage it all by yourself. Just take a moment and think about the、uh, next step. You know, you'll be okay. So that's what I mean. For, for me, whatever happens,、uh, I make a habit that I tell myself that's no problem. s As I practice, fun. Happiness, fantastic, luck, appreciation, and no problems, as I said、uh, every day.、Uh, I mean,、uh, under any、uh, kind of intense situation in public or private, you're gonna make、uh, life better. If you keep saying those six words, a greater percentage of our daily life is、uh, habitual. We do the same thing、uh, over and over again every day. But many people do not question their habit enough. They just do the things every day and accept, accept the things to change. Nothing changes unless you keep saying those six words. Our、uh, present life is a reflection of our past habit. s So, to change our future,、uh, we gotta make an oral habit for the first step. It's up to us to、uh, accelerate or de- de- delay our success by habit. s There is no formula for the better life. If you are satisfied, that means you are all good. There are common but productive habits、uh, you can s- slowly add to your、uh, routine to change your.、Uh, uh, To change the、uh, trajectory of your life. So,、uh, just start with a small habit and make sure you do, do not、uh, aim to、uh, make a big change. Tiny improvement only can mount up and can have a meaningful and powerful impact on your life. Okay? Alright, enough for oral habits. Let's move on with goal settings here. What is your goal? What are you gonna do in 10 years? You don't care? I don't care. Who knows? <laughs> For those of you who have,、uh, have no real idea of the, of the destination like that, I can give you the clue. Just visualize、uh, what you're gonna do like in 10 years to give the broad and balanced coverage of all information,、uh, important areas in, in your life. You can try to、uh, set goals in some,、uh, in some of the、uh, following categories or、uh, in、uh, categories of your own. Career. What level you wanna reach in your career? What do you want to achieve? You want to be a manager or stuff like that? And next one is financial. How much do you want、uh, to earn money? But by what stage? How is, it,、uh, how is, it, uh, is this related to your career goals? Education. Is there any、uh, knowledge you want to acquire in, in particular? What information or skill you need to have、uh, in order to achieve your other goal? Family.、Uh, do, you want, do you want to be a dad or a mom? If so, Uh, are you gonna be a good parent? And pleasure. How、uh, do you wanna change yourself? You should ensure some of your life are just for you. This was already covered by oral habit, so you guys already know that. And finally, public service. Do you wanna make the world a better place? If so, how? So, the last one is an ultimate goal where,、uh, where we are least likely to achieve, but、uh, you can, of course, think about it.、Uh, spend a few times brainstorming、uh, these things and select one or more in each category、uh, that、uh, best reflect what you, what you want to do. Then, consider trimming again. 
so that you can have a small number of really significant goals that you can focus on. Once you have set up your life, uh, lifetime goals, uh, make five year plan of smaller goals so that you need to complete. You can just uh, narrow down and create one year plan, uh, six months, uh, and one, one month plan uh, of progressively uh, smaller goals. If you can do it, you are perfect. But if you find it so difficult for you at the early stage, uh, your smaller goal might be uh, to read the books and gather information on the achievement of your goal. Just like uh, you drive your car, right? Uh, you are driving your car because you have the destination. Uh, you are trying to reach the place where you are heading to on time. If you go to the company uh, before 9, p 9 a.m., for example, you leave home early, right? Yeah, because you are expected to encounter a heavy traffic on a, on a, on on the way uh, to to your company. Or when public uh, public transit delays your arrival uh, delays too. So pretty much the same procedure. Uh, when you delay, you make an excuse and convince them of why you are late. That's uh, that's your issue, right? Then uh, how can you avoid those trouble? If you encounter those uh, incidents every day, uh, change your apartment. Yeah, maybe maybe you wanna uh, move out and change your apartment. Great. Or uh, changing a commute route uh, would be the uh, would be better. Or uh, leaving home at a different time uh, would be another option. So likewise, uh, you have many many ideas that uh, help you to improve the quality and the realism of your goal settings. You can make a habit like that. Ten years uh, is a long span and quite hard to clearly visualize your future so uh, you don't want to be so perfect at the moment if you set up your specific goal focus on what you want to do as i said earlier time is limited we always race against the clock to get things done finish the task assignment and meet the deadline so we need to optimize it to get a better, better result Time management is the uh, process of planning, uh, exercising control on specific activities, say it study or work to increase effectiveness, uh, efficiency, and productivity. Well, actually, uh, there are plenty of ways for time management, but the most important things is based on your goal settings. Dividing what you wanna do, uh, what you wanna do, achieve in your life, uh, separating uh, what's important from what's irrelevant or uh, or uh, di uh, distractions. Uh, it sounds so hard to uh, design your life over a long period of time, but just make it simple to break down your goals into quarter, 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 uh, and execute your daily operations so that your small effort will mount up. You just need to follow ongoing uh, process by regularly reviewing and updating your goal. So uh, you, uh, you, you won't get a good result by accident, by the way. And you know you don't have to be uh, ex expect yourself to do your task with completion. Because sometimes an expect, expected incident or error occurs at random. In case that happens, uh, you can always modify and make it even. Uh, you don't stick with a perfect score, like uh, 70 to 80 uh, percent will be perfect, so to speak. Making so uh, going forward uh, in a direction has three parts: life design, uh, as I just mentioned, the habit you use or you are doing a daily basis, and the follow-up. In other words, how you can stay on track. Let me give you a let me give you an example of my life again. I'm making my uh, my YouTube videos every week, right? Yeah, I have to make a script and plan how my presentation will be going on and how I should put a conclusion in the end. And after I post the videos on YouTube, I need to get advertised and updated to my social media. That's a lot of work. But I'm not satisfied with my work, even though I put uh, too much effort for create, creating my videos. Most of the time, my video is a piece of crap, which no one watches. Professional YouTubers uh, tend to delete uh, their, uh, their, uh, their terrible videos when they are done. But I do post my crappy videos at the because, because my motto is to disclose everything about my, myself in life. The, my uh, multitasking skills Within a limited time, I mean my work Unless I meet the meter of the day, my, uh, my video is there, it's my whole my it's all my time. But you know what? Even so, my work uh, doesn't have to be 70%, 80% is excellent. Look at that 80 to 80 principle. Implement 80 to 20 principle. This principle was uh, observed. 
I kind of remember I told you the story about Wilfred Paredo in a previous video. He noted that 80% uh, of the land in Italy was owned by 20% of the domestic populations. This principle holds the same for nearly 20, 100, uh, 200 years, and it can be applied to different fields such as business. Do you think this, uh, this one is also applicable to your life? If so, how the hell is that? While well, it's being studied, 80% uh, of success will come from uh, just 20% of your work. This means 80% of what you do is not really important or irrelevant uh, to your success. This also means uh, you just identify 20% of the things you do actually result in success. So uh, you need to prioritize the top 20% of what you have to do in a daily in, in a day. And once you complete it, uh, you can improve your productivity and efficiency by focusing all of your effort on a task which will yield success in the long run. I just said prioritize. What it, what, what it does is the, uh, you just have to take the highest priority of, uh, for, for, for the things you can't ignore. The common traits of multitasking are like you just have to work so hard. People hate the shit. Nearly uh, everyone is familiar with the multitasking skill, uh, whether uh, continuous, uh, whether consciously or unconsciously, we actually exercise our multitasking skills at any given time. Especially today, uh, we are facing and encountering se several changes, challenges, and distractions along the way. Multitasking is considered as a valued skill, valuable skill that uh, should continuously uh, be improved and uh, maximize the productivity and uh, success. But most of people misunderstand the definition of multitasking as hard working because multitask multitasking skill uh, can't be measured or calculated or certifi certified uh, as an official degree. So people take it lightly as a trivial. That's not really true. Regardless of technical definition, uh, one's ability to uh, effectively multitask continues to be an essential core of competency. When you, ha when you have a, a big uh, job interview and show your uh, multitasking skills to an interviewer, like how you perform uh, your business operations in an optimal way, they like you for sure. Yeah, uh, I think that makes sense. You optimize uh, multiple, uh, many, many multitasking skills in your day-to-day -day life. Some people disagree with me, like I get burned out if I attempt to do too many tasks at once and res that results in diminished quality of my workload, namely mental exhaustion. Ironically enough, that's also true. But what if I, uh, you'd, do, uh, you'd do your favorite things and make it your job? I could say drug, sex alcohol perhaps even uh, playing video games if you're a teenager uh, you can be uh, if you can be professional uh, you can make money from your hobby for example that's uh, what a lot of people expect let's suppose uh, my favorite things to do in life is dance dance with energy hustle expression and you enjoy dancing tap salsa uh, break street and ballet dancing you know they are all amazing you dance while drinking, you know, you dance while uh, doing laundry, you dance while waiting, you dance with the music. Without the music, while you are waiting for a noodle to cook, you can hence dance anywhere because you that's uh, what you love to do. You know, that's exactly called multitasking, right? For another example uh, with uh, Emma Steven here, my favorite things to do is to surprise my friend more, uh, with more, more than they expect. One of my friends uh, once asked me to put a new brakes on his car so he saved, uh, he could save a bit of money. Uh, he had an old Toyota and no job, so a lot of things on his uh, car were falling apart. I fixed his uh, brakes, but uh, I also banged out for a, for a few dents, rotated his tires, uh, gave him a full tune-up, uh, topped off his uh, fruits. <clears throat> I replaced the blinker light, uh, cleaned the vacuum and the interior, and even installed a uh, better head unit than the, than, than the one he had. Uh, it was the happiest I'd see him in, in months. Then he could be a professional entertainer because he likes surprising people here, right? Anything can be triggered for the uh, favorite things to do, whereas you don't do what you don't want to do. Namely, uh, you don't want to do uh, dirty jobs. You know, one of the dirty jobs I believe is bad is paparazzi. 
So I could say、uh, the paparazzi is a freedom, a freelance a photographer who pursues gossip for money. <laughs> Do you think this is a great job? Well, I don't say it's great, but needed because people love gossip. Yeah, speaking ill of somebody who is not present,、uh, not a nice habit, and absolutely it's dreadful. But, but, but if you love it, don't stop doing it. Strong emotion, passion,、uh, too much energy boost are unstoppable once you fall into it. From my honest opinion,、uh, I think paparazzi is a dirty job because I don't want to be <laughs> disclosed my personal information by paparazzi if I'm a celebrity like a Justin Bieber.、Uh, there was a Japanese uh, YouTuber uh, who exposed gossip in social media called Gashi. Yeah, he's a muckraker. Mark Raker, who、uh, exposes a real or alleged、uh, corruption, scandal, and other wrongdoing, especially in Japan. He updates a shocking breaking news、uh, every, every, every day, and people watch him on his own platform. They sign up and join the membership at $40 and,、uh, and enjoy it、yeah, because it's so fun. Yeah, Gashi loves entertaining people, so he knows what to do. What he does is very, very tricky, by the way. Yeah,、uh, invasion of privacy is、uh, just a border between legal and illegal, right? Most of the time, it's illegal.、Uh, if his、uh, gossip exposure is、uh, too malicious and aggressive for people,、uh, he's gonna get arrested or even killed. So、uh, he got out of Japan and escaped to Dubai、uh, because Dubai has a lot of advantages. Advantages for es- escaping from a crime. And he's now scared by the government of Dubai because he already went up overseas. Yeah, Japanese police can、uh, no longer chase him. So、uh, once he knows、uh, there is no risk to be caught by police in Japan, he does what he loves to do, even though it is a dirty job. I don't think that's a good example of happiness, but it's true the gossip brings us happiness and、uh, fun. Okay, so、uh, overall, I have talked about how to make a small、uh, habit and what、uh, gives us by making a small habit over the long period of time. Six positive words with uh, happiness, uh, f- fun, happiness,、uh, fascination, luck, appreciation, and no problems are key elements to achieve your goal in 10 years. While you exercise multitasking, you never say, I don't have time. Remember, I repeated you not to say I have no time. That's a stupid excuse. Taboo. Please don't say that. Your favorite words、uh, goal setting and time management. Keep a note of、uh, each attribute、uh, means to you. It's so important, folks. This is the first step of how to make a small habit.、Uh, start tiny.、Uh, tiny gives you success. We are often told that、uh, we need to think big,、uh, make dr- dr- drastic change, and move across the border, but do not underestimate the power of making a small habit and the importance of single actions you make. Real small changes come from the compound、uh, effects of、uh, hundreds of small decisions, and over time, it accumulates to、uh, produce a remarkable result. Along with the scientific effort,、uh, I believe today's presentation explained、uh, practical implications of tiny habits can grow into、uh, life changing outcomes and help you to build more greater lives. Don't forget that.